Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you're finding these videos useful and uh, subscribing to my channel. In today's videos on Azure, I'm here to talk about Azure policy. Uh, so some of my subscribers, uh, they wanted to uh, know a little bit more uh, about what this is and uh, what we can use this to implement and how it is done. So today we'll look at also configuring this. But before I do that, let me just take a moment here in um, uh, explaining what Azure policy is. So let me start with uh, uh, just a basic definition of what policy is, right? So if you look at the uh, dictionary, a policy can be termed as a set of rules. or plans that uh, uh, anybody can use. And this can be applied to maybe a business, a country. We always hear this term, right? That the country's policy is or the government policy is, right? And same thing, we can apply this to the uh, business. And I, as I always say that uh, you cannot uh, have any IT discussion nowadays without uh, 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 without having uh, components of maybe governance or compliance, right? Because uh, now IT has evolved over the time. The concept which were maybe uh, relevant couple of years ago, they might not be relevant today. So it's always has to evolve, right? So policy has a major role to play in all these uh, segments. So what Azure policy is, is a Azure service. It's an Azure service, which allows you to manage, assign, and implement policy. Because from the IT perspective, you need to have those guidelines to achieve the governance and the uh, and the compliance. And specifically, when we talk about public cloud, where you can keep the data, what you can do with that, uh, where you can deploy those resources, all those are very important discussion. And uh, especially when we talk about the regulated industry, when we talk about the government, when we talk about uh, banking, financial sectors, and in general also, uh, it is very important that you have those tools in place and Azure policy will allow you to do that, right? So sometimes there is also a, a question asked, uh, you know, what is the difference between uh, Azure policy and uh, uh, RBAC or also known as role-based access control, right? So Azure policy, And I'm just going to write short form for role-based access control, which is RBAC, right? So Azure policy can be applied at the subscription level You can apply at a resource group level You can also exclude A resource group if you want Right, you can you can do that within the Azure policy. Role-based access control generally do uh, deals with the user access. Generally, there are three main roles uh, when we talk about from the Azure perspective. You have a owner, you have a contributor. You have reader. And obviously, there are far, uh, there are more role too. So, role-based access control will generally deal with you know what access a user has. For example, a contributor can do everything. Uh, what a owner has, the only thing is that it cannot assign rights to other people in the organization. Uh, what they can do, right? And reader can only have read-only access to uh, to the resources. Uh, he cannot create new. And obviously, he cannot give access to other people. So generally, uh, from the from the user point of view, user access that. Whereas Azure policy that uh, generally deals with the resource properties.
and when I say resource properties, it means that uh, where you can deploy the resources, uh, what size of uh, services you can deploy those in those uh, in those area, all those things you can uh, you can manage through Azure Policy, right? But the important thing is it is a tool to manage, assign, and implement whatever the policy you have decided upon from the company or from the business goal perspective, right? This is what Azure policy is in a nutshell, right? I hope it is clear. So let's do this way. Let's go inside the portal and see what are the options we have and we'll configure or try to configure at least one policy, right? So with this, let me flip over to my Azure subscription. Uh, we created one in our last video, but let's create one more. So from your under the favorite, I've already tagged this. So you can go and uh, highlight policy under authoring. Let's go to assignments. Go to assign policy. And under the scope, as I said that you can uh, have this at the subscription level. Uh, you can have it at the resource group level. So, you know, there are different scope options available for you. So I'm going to do it at the subscription level. If you want to apply this at a resource group, you can always do that too. But let me just pick at the subscription. If you want to exclude any resources, you can, you can do that too, right? But I'm not going to do. But if you want, that option is there. And for the policy definition, a lot of built-in policies which are there already but you want to create a custom one you can do that too but I'm gonna use a built-in one which is there and uh, I will test this with allowed virtual machine so what I'm saying is that for this subscription only these series of virtual machines should be allowed right so let me say for the SQs which are allowed so usually you, you know that there are a lot of options available from the deployment perspective what I'm going to do is, oh, I will only let them deploy uh, Okay, let's do this way A lot of option within A series So I will test this Let me just pick the B series virtual machines so as a user, somebody is trying to deploy, uh, they should be only able to deploy the B series virtual machine, right? So I have selected 10 of them. And click on assign. So the policy assignment succeeded. Right, so I can close this notification tab. Let me go to virtual machine. And let's try to deploy a one. Pick your subscription. Pick the resource group. And uh, I will say... The only regions allowed in my subscription is Canada Central. That's the policy that I already have in place. So let me try to deploy Canada Central. And I will try to deploy, say, a D-Series virtual machine, right? Just remember that uh, within the policy, it's only B-Series. So let's see what we get when we try to deploy anything other than that. Okay, so let me just try to hit create.
okay so as you can see under the notification uh, I get this uh, error it says that uh, resource test VM was disallowed by policy so it means that my policy is in place and because I am trying to deploy the machine which is not within my policy it is giving me error so this gives you an example of uh, what you can do with Azure policy is and as I explained you it is uh, Azure service which allows you to manage assign and implement and try to achieve your governance and your compliance perspective from the business uh, uh, from the business perspective so I hope you found this video on Azure policy useful thanks for watching have a good day